And so we're back. I think. From outer space. Where we are on... Uh, did I fly to Banan? Did I? I did, right? I did. I did. We're good. We got rid of all our gis gis Giska. Uh, we done the Tatooine stuff. So now let's head into Manan proper. Shall we? Can you really hear the button presses? That's so weird. Why do you hear that? Why do you hear that? Why do you do that game? Jolan Affet. What do I want? Who are you? Oh, Bazak. Ugh. Nope. Uh, nope. No, thank you. Cleaning droid. Don't care. A visitor area. Hello. Hello, how do you do? Welcome to Manan. While you're here, I trust you to follow all the rules governing the activities of off-worlders. Uh, sure. Make it, yeah, 50. What? Alright, fine. Have your stinking credits, stupid jellyfish. Obey the laws here on Manan, human. Human. Obey the laws on Manan, human. Right, so he's just a Selkath. Selkath, Selkath. What are you? I hear the Zerka Corp got kicked off Kashik by the locals. Good for them. At least someone's getting something back from them. Yeah. I know, right? Good, eh? Hello. He doesn't have time. Okay. You have time? Private conversation? Okay. Oh. Private conversation, you say? Oh. Oh, how do you... Oh, I don't have any points in stealth, so I can't do it. Herb derp. You got any points in stealth? No, you don't. Um. He doesn't either. Fuck. Right, we'll deal with that later. We'll spy on them. Okay, good. Fellas, no, please, thank you. What's this? Distribution center. Hello? Uh, I don't... Can I buy a permit? Intergalactic governments. Uh, okay. okay. They sell it. Uh, they're a wholesaler. Right, well, fuck you then. Uh, hello? They've got all the proper culto trading permits, so back off. Yeah. Hey, I'm working here. Go talk to the diplomatic rep if you got something to say. No. Alright. The courthouse. Sure. What are you? I hear the Zerka Corp got hmm. kicked off Kashik by the locals. You're just the same guy, shut up. Them. At least someone's getting something back from them. Hello, Selkath. Jolie, it is you. Jolie, Jolie. I need your help. Jolie, Laura, Jolie. All the people. How did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunring. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunring has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunring isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. Where's Sunring now? Sunring's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, 
Go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Cellcast will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry. Somehow. Somehow. At some point. Just not right now, okay? Hello, Nick. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, well, I guess. Do you? All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Hey, you giving up money here? Mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Uh, you could hire me. I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. What? You can't miss it. Now, if what? excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. Can you... It's north and then north and then south and then east. Right, got it. All right, shut. Okay, you don't want to talk to me. I get it. I get it. I get it. Nilko Boaz. Nilko Boaz. Oh. Now you want to. Now you want to talk to me. Sure. Floating city is beautiful, right? Yes, it's yeah. Too gracious. The beauty of Milan is delicate. Their ecosystem is complex and fragile, and he fears for the preservation of his planet. What do you want? There's a task. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you want? I only require information, nothing more. Ah, so he wants to... Uh, what's in this for me? 500 credits. Ugh. Start poking your nose. Ugh. Alright, so he says he's a friend of the Republic, but we'll see about that. Who's this guy? I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian of the Achani can... Uh... They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, but I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job. Okay. Ask whatever you wish. Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind, though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Uh, yeah, I'm seeking a star map or an alien. Has no such things unless the have all right. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Are we uh, stuck in the for? He's heard we're no friend of the Sith. Uh, yes. Well, yeah. If it were up to me, he would do everything in his power to aid the Republic, blah blah blah. What are you talking about? Many Selkath have gone missing? Oh. I'll give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter. Uh, yes. I will do that. Of course. You said 500 credits? I'll do that. You're new around here, aren't you? Hello. My name's Duan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Ah, she said simp. Haha. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, can I join? That runs on me. Sure. Pull up a seat. I'll have the bartender ring us up a couple of mugs of the local favorite. It's called Thraxian Tooth. Watch oh. out for these. They're packed quite a bite. Two or three of these babies and you won't even remember who you are. I I've had Jedi training. Woo, that's good stuff. Might even be better than Kessel Spice, do you think? Never touched the hard stuff myself. Uh, uh huh. Another one? Sure, why not? You know, hardly anyone buys me drinks around this... Don't worry, I'll buy you a drink. Haha. <laughs> 
Well, I might be a little giddy, but I hope you don't think I'm going to start spilling Sid's secrets all of a sudden. It'll take more than... Ah, well. Yeah, I suppose one more wouldn't hurt. Of course I'm buying, baby. Of course I'm buying, a baby. Well, I feel I am good and truly drunk. Seems like all okay, the good okay. ones always... I don't want to talk about that stuff. Shame. End of the... I'm searching... Yeah, let's ask her about the the cell cut youth. It's just rumors. Stuff I heard about making sure the stupid fish people find the evidence they need. I don't know what you're talking about, but you don't need a road map to get what I can give ya. Oh, I... Yes, yes, one more drink, exactly, exactly what I was thinking. Thinking, exactly. Ugh. <sighs> Head hurts. Ah. Wait, you're, I you've got a hangover scared. now? Must get back to embassy. Find bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we go through a wallet and there's nothing Let of value in there. Let me sleep, I gotta sleep. We might have a position <laughs> in the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bomb Taris into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. What? Excuse me? I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have link... Uh, what? You know that, huh? You know that, huh? But here we're tolerated. Okay, what have you got in stock? Ugh, absolutely nothing. There we go. We got shit to sell to him, actually. Nah, we can sell that. Back a ceremonial sword. Nah, we'll keep that for now. You never know. You never know. Mandalorian data pads, composite heavy plating, no thank you. Hey man, clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. Uh, am I though? Ganderous. I haven't seen you since the Republic broke our ranks at the Battle of Malachor. Ergeron, I see you've got some new guns to add to your collection. Times must have been profitable for you since the war. Very profitable. When the Republic defeated our fleets, I learned a valuable lesson. It's far better to be a freelance mercenary in a war than to be a soldier for the losing side. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slagger at the bar, or the Achani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Okay. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the... And with all right, well, ugh. Oh, at the age. I even yeah, heard. okay, so he likes the... They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone... Alright, well, great. So... Great. Just great. Are you the Achani guy, then? Yeah, you are. Are you hiring for the... Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big... Oh. <laughs> wasting your time, eh? Are you sure? I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I... Uh, nope. So, I heard the Sith are trying to work on a synthetic version of Colto. I wouldn't be surprised if the Republic was too. I thought. I thought you could do the swoop races here as well. Could maybe not. Cellcast, cellcast. Everywhere a cellcast. Sith diplomat. Oh, this is the court. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Yeah. 
Ja. They were provoked, Your Honor. The oh, were they? Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. That's true. Ten thousand credits to both sides. Jeez. Jeez. I'm sick of hearing about Manon's new. Okay, so he doesn't like the neutrality. They say everyone Let on me Manon guess. is equal. You don't like the neutrality. Okay. Uh, how did you know it's from the Republic? Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, what do you know about the young Selka? Anything else? No. Uh, yeah. I suppose your sunray's only hope. And now appointed arbiter in the case of Sunry versus the Sith Empire. Your name and position has been recorded in our files. Okay. Sunry was seen leaving a hotel, leaving behind a dead Sith woman, Alasa Huros. He's been charged with murder and is being held in the Otter City prison facilities due to his crippled status. He is being kept in solitary holding cells. Wow. Lassa was found dead of a blaster wound with an incriminating Republic medal pushed in her hand. This information has been updated to your data pad. Okay. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked. Mm. Okay. I guess we'll do the judges now. Can see as I'm on here. Um, what do you think of Sunri? Um Yeah, anything suspicious about this or no? Yeah, whatever. All right, so he doesn't know anything. Mm, anything suspicious about this case? I find this case to be fairly straightforward. Sorry, it's from the Republic. Good Empires are battling, blah, blah, blah. Is that all? No. What do you think of him? Republic hero? Do you think Republic masters will let something so valuable go so easily? Hmm. Right, so she... She? He? I don't know. Thinks that Sunri is basically still a Republic... Uh, spy? Operative? Agent? Alright, what do you think of Sunri? A great warrior fought for, fought for, for the Republic against the Sith aggression. Oh. The Republic had more individuals like him, blah blah blah. No, anything suspicious? Right, knowing the Sith, there was probably some deception involved. They seek to do the same thing to us here. Ah, interesting. No. I can't get away from me.
What what did you think of Sunri? Exactly. I can barely walk. No, anything suspicious. One of the witnesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of. Those two are sort of on the Republic side. These two are more on the Sith side. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Sith and Republic. What? What imagery? Uh, yeah, I do have questions about the trial. What did you think of Sunri? He's known to us as a hero of the Republic in your perpetual conflicts with the Sith Empire. Okay, so he's he is a hero. Severely injured. Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration? Rest assured that my personal regard, while emotion may rule your Senate, the cold heart, hand of the law rules on Manan. Okay. Any anything suspicious? The metal that was found. I find it odd that such a blatant incriminating piece of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. Exactly. Exactly. How weird. Simply because it was real does not mean Sunny would have over. Uh, no, that's it. I guess we'll go speak to Sunri at some point. I mean, I'm his lawyer. He just doesn't know it yet. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Yeah, I don't want to start the trial right now, idiot. I've not even spoken to anyone. When I get out of here, you're dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sunray. Jolie. Sunray. What? Laura sent me, Sunray. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Uh, let's clear up a few things. Go ahead, ask. Judges said you left after the shot was fired. How would they know? They weren't there. Well, I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith had been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Oh, really? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Selkath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with... But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe anything else I can help you with? Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I, uh... I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pre... It was going well, too, until she... Mm. Maybe the Sith had felt, but let's look yeah. at the... Alas, it was brutally she killed. Brutally Think killed. about that. She was a Sith, she was trained a Sith. in battle on his crippled My war injuries yeah. make it difficult yeah. for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands... Further, they say they found my heroes cross... Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. I hope you can see how the... Any... Yeah, okay. Very... Once you... Shush. It's clear what I need to do. Send you to your death, no. We are... Uh... We need to get into the Sith Embassy somehow. That's what we need to do. Somehow. I did... Somehow we need to get in there. Is that over here? No. Oh, maybe. What's... Nothing here, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Hello. These Selkath don't know what they're gonna miss. When the Sith Empire finally crushes the Republic, then we'll see how long their vaunted neutrality lasts. Ah, oh, shut up, you Sith scum. I love you. I love the Sith. Shh. 
Ooh, fighting. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. I mean, that'd be really stupid to do, though. Strange greeting. Who are you? Ah, okay. Okay, and I get I get it. I get it. Shady Rodian. What? Business. I don't want to buy bizarre cards. Fuck you, dude. I mean, I have to. I want to go back to the ship anyway. Maybe grab, uh, grab someone like Mission, just for the, the that stealth thing. I think we can eavesdrop on that conversation that we saw earlier. The guy was like, oh, "This is a private conversation." I'm like, okay, dude, calm down. Hello, Roland. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wong. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Uh, I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. I'm investigating Sunri's case. I don't know much about the facts of the case, but I find it hard to believe. I never met Sunri, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. The Sith must have plotted Sunri's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. Um. Mm. The Republic? Well, that makes no sense. Sunri has no enemies in the Republic, and his conviction will make all of our jobs more. If you want to solve this mess, I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? No, there is not. I'm on a mission from a Jedi Council. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Don't sell yourself short. An ancient and forgotten race. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information... Ugh. No, no. You do what I want and maybe... Fine, what do you want? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours... So where's this droid? It's heavily guarded, for what? sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of that is what we would have. Uh, and how would I get in there? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed oh. to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. We think he may be able to give us the path he has proved most. All right. Another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than... The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main... Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land. 
then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I... Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You, sh you can choose which... Good call. I would... I'll do the prisoner. See if I can make him talk. That'd be fun. If you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. Don't bother. So you're the one who's well. going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards what? we got from the Sith, but we, ha we have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. I don't... The encryption system is composed of six major... I don't... I'm not going to do this, though. Leave me alone. You will know fear. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. Yes. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Oh, really? What did you do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Oh, Combine this what? with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes... Do you want to... In Yes. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from... He was with another man when he was first spotted. We we also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to invest. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. Okay. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his, if you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic. Oh, shall we? Oh, God. Hey, you. Wake. Ugh. All right. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Ah. Uh. What? Oh. The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have a. He wouldn't talk. Or has he already? Oh. No. If you don't tell us, you will suffer. Of course, they would never believe we let you go no. so easily. But they would all. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in with. Well, then, tell me. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. All right. Oh, okay. Tila, how did you find out about her? Oh. No, never. Damn. What? No, please don't. Yes, it could be. All right. Yes. All right. What's the pa It's it's Zeta yes. 245698. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been <laughs> Yes, baby. Okay. No. Okay, fine. We won't go in there. I think that's the first time that is ever worked for me the interrogation usually I get uh, t3 m4 to just uh, hack the computer thing oh hello hotel service terminal what's that call for a bellboy the inn will be closed until further notice oh Ignis. You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Yeah. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. 
I would swear he started after the shot, though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he could have gone off after he left. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. What? No, no way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. 200 credits. That's a lot of money. Hey. Maybe I could. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll tell the cell cat that he left before the shot went off. But this uh, is our little secret. Hmm. I guess this is what they call working the system. Now, was there any... Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunry would come by a couple hours later and stay... It doesn't take a genius to... Whoa. There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player, probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else? Mm. The Sith woman, a lot of deal. The All right, so we've, we've exhausted that. Okay. No dark side points, though. That's interesting. I was sure we'd get dark side points for that. Okay, so we can't open that door. Fitteth me. You with the cell cat? You here to see me about... I told the damn fish everything I knew. Whoa. I was in my room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room, and Sunray running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything what? like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master? Oh, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone Sith above her. Yeah, Master. I, I didn't see anything. What did you see? Well, one time, I saw Elasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. There's a dark Jedi? What? Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. What? I know how ruthless. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court. Okay, now that's fine. That's fine. Just gonna look in your. Oh, thank you. Look in your footlocker there. Don't mind if I don't. Uh, do. Hello. What are you doing are in you? my room? What? I'm too tired to enter a discussion with you tonight. Good. Okay. What? What? Hello, Glupor. Do you have a foot? No. Uh. Glupor tells everything to Selka. Uh, what did you see, Glupor? Glupor see Sunri running away from the scene of the crime. Okay. Why are you at the hotel? Mm, so he's very poor. Uh, what about Alessa's room? No one paid Glooper to do it. I mean, that's a very 
kun muli ras nimo tang abal sitsang lupor ninong kili lupor kiwak er aita kan kichana sukat lupor lupor sha lupor pampa ki muli ras tan evidence but leave no trace lupor chachopa si chap tang italka mama ji ko na lupor ang inko tune lupor chachopa lupor bagwa sha tang itwala ji yuma we talk more be locked in his room. Okay. Hope. Okay. I'm guessing we can just go to the Sith Embassy and just. You, Hello? Jedi. I hear Jedi. you're investigating the Sunri murder trial, are you not? Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. Many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey oh, yeah. uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Huh? Mm, dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the... Oh. Of course not. You would have to be devious. Devious. Heed my advice, Jedi. Devious. And you may we shall have to be devious to get this done. Oh. All right. So I guess we can try to hack into a computer. Like try. Have you managed to retrieve the? No, not yet. Top. Okay. Well, don't uh, let me ask any questions then. Jeez. One spike. How many spikes do we have? 24. Oh. Huh. We got it, baby. What's this? Okay, so there's Elasa. There's the old man. Bing bang bong. I get it. Just a single bed, though. That doesn't make sense. Very small, but he did it. He fucking did it. All right. <sighs> son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. He fucking did it. He fucking did it. Uh, oh yeah, let's turn on solo mode for now. Talk to Hulas. What? Oh, we have to get rid of... Uh, we have to go in solo. Like, proper solo. Sheesh. Sheesh. Um, the Republic Enclave, Visitor's Hotel, Tavark Shop. We've not been in any, any, any shop. What's the shop? Hello. How much oh. for all this stuff, Tybark? For the Sith, I'm on his pay, but since you're a member of the Republic, a weak salary. Thanks, Tybark. Yeah, so you like Republic, huh? New Arbiter, yes. Uh, let me see what you have. No, what did you know? Ah, okay. What do you have? What you got? Eh, yeah, we'll buy all of them. Eh, why not? Buy some parts. Arcanium pistol, heavy pistol, no, no, no. Zabrak battle cannon. If we can buy that. Sure. Stabilizer mask does what? Eh. Saves all plus two. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's fine. Not bad. But it's not for me right now. Thank you, though. We are going to go to the ship. No, let's go back to Sunry. Let's have a quick chat with Sunry. Who is... Uh, oh, that side. And yeah, we're still... Still got the unlimited force speed. So that's good. Let's not worry about that little oversight. Alright, you bastard. I know you did it. I fucking saw it. I saw it, son. Jolly. Coming to check in on an old man? Soon, old friend. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I sup... Go ahead, ask. Ask... We, uh, I... do oh, No, what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to... Please. Ah, uh, you did kill I her. I know though. I made a terrible mistake getting in. I did it. But found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail. Well, I can tell you it wasn't easy. She is... Was young and beautiful. But I love Alora. I found out later she'd been murdered when this... But uh -huh. let's look at the... Th uh -huh. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about uh -huh. my war injuries. Yep. <laughs> Obviously the Sith. I hope anything else... Wait, Go what? Ahead. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... Well, no, you I didn't. killed her. Simple, really. But once they found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured the Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Alasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So. Are you guilty? Just confess. You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill it. That's different, Sunri, and you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. Exactly. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to... Killing your lover while she sleeps is murder. Yeah, exactly. If I confess, I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Auto City officials might even play. No, I can't do that. And put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't. Now look, I may have done some. If you turn me in, the Republic will likely lose its Colto export. Pr Sunry, this is wrong, and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what I did. But I also know what's at stake here. No. I'll rot in here if I have to. But I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to. But know what the consequences will be. Okay. Well, we need to think about that. Um, but that's going to be it for today, though. Thank you so much for watching. If indeed you have. I know, again... I say it all the time, but this is not one of my more uh, more watched series. But uh, yeah, no, every every view counts. Thank you so thank you very much, and I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Empire War. Goodbye.